this video is a part of my Mooncake Masterclass. If you'd like to enhance your skill set and discover all the secrets I use in this cake, make sure you check out the description box below and I will put all the details there, including a limited time offer of 30% off full price. So make sure you have a look. how to prepare isomalt from its raw form and basically this is going to save you a ton of money from buying it ready prepared in packs where you just have to literally heat it up and melt it down. Isomalt is an absolutely fantastic way of creating all sorts of amazing decorations for your cakes. I use it an awful lot. Uh, before you go using it though, if you've never used isomalt before, there's a couple of things that you really, really need to understand. Uh, first of all, it is an edible medium. However, um, it, like many sweeteners, it is a sweetener, it is derived from sugar. It's actually from the same plant that sugar comes from, um, but it's actually sugar free, strangely, but Anyway, it is. Like many sweeteners, there's only so much you should consume of it at one time. So in a day, I think the recommendations are about 25 grams for a child and about 50 grams for an adult. Um, basically, it goes straight through you. So if you're gonna have more than that, I'll let you work that one out. So don't go eating more than that, okay? You've been warned. Second of all, when you're heating isomalt, like sugar, it gets incredibly hot. So please, please do wear gloves. Now in this video, you're gonna notice I'm not wearing gloves, but <laughs> the reason why is because I'm really confident with isomalt. I've used it many, many times. And also I, don't I'm not very good at wearing gloves my skin just really reacts badly to it so that's why I don't wear gloves but please please if you've never used it before I absolutely recommend you do because you will scold yourself I've done it a few times so yeah please make sure you wear gloves you might want to know what the point of using isomalt is seeing as it's so similar to sugar well the point is sugar is really highly reactive to moisture so if there's any moisture in the air whatsoever, your sugar decorations, basically they start to um, melt. Um, isomalt does melt, but it's far, far slower. And so basically your decoration is gonna last for longer, which is what we want. So let's get straight into the recipe. For your equipment, very, very simple. You just need some measuring cups. Um, really importantly, you must have a jam thermometer. If you haven't got one of these, you need one. So this is like basic bake, uh, cake making equipment. So if you haven't got one, I strongly recommend you buy one and you definitely need one for this recipe. So that's a must. Just a simple wooden spoon, just for stirring the isomalt before we heat it and a small saucepan. The ingredients really couldn't be any more straightforward. It's just raw isomalt and water, and I'll get into the amounts in a moment. Um, if you're wondering where to get this, I just buy mine from Amazon, put in the search bar raw isomalt or powdered isomalt. It comes usually comes in kilogram amounts, either in a bag like this, or sometimes you get it in a tub like this you'll know if it's the right thing because the ready-made isomalt, the price difference is massive, so it'll be really, really obvious. So just make sure it's raw powdered isomalt. Measure out two cups of isomalt and pour them into the pan. And in this recipe, it's a quarter cup of water per cup of isomalt. So that'll be a half a cup of water into the saucepan. Using the wooden spoon, stir the mixture and combine it until it looks the same texture as wet sand. Mm -hmm. 
place the saucepan over a medium heat. Put your jam thermometer into the mixture, making sure the end of the thermometer is fully immersed in the liquid. While the mixture is heating and dissolving, it's really important you resist the urge to stir it. Do not stir it. Now I'm just gonna keep a really, really close eye on my ice malt. It's got to get to 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is 160 degrees Celsius. So just keep a watch over it. As soon as the mixture hits 320 degrees, you need to take it off the heat straight away. This has now reached ideal pouring temperature at 280 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just between, it's about 135 Celsius. You can take the thermometer out and if you want to store your isomalt, you can pour it into molds at this point or you can use it pretty much straight away uh, for making your isomalt toppers. So once you've poured these into a mould, leave them to cool completely and they can be put inside an airtight container. These can then be reheated melted down and used again. Just be careful you don't overheat them otherwise they'll burn and go yellow. Um, you can also heat them on increments in the microwave. 